Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nadie, and today we're trying out that mascara. As you beautiful people know, this is about the products, not the people behind them. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh my little fried Fritos, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a great day so far. I myself am doing wonderful, however, I woke up to a tiny little cavern on my forehead, so we're gonna ignore that. But no, we're all human, skin happens. Who the hell cares about this? I am so excited to try this. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black, and this recently went viral, but kind of for terrible reasons. I actually heard really amazing things about this product, so I'm hopeful for it, and I thought because I do have kind of tiny lashes, we'll be able to see exactly how big these make your lashes. But I am not into drama, which is probably why I don't have a million followers on here. However, I did see on Twitter that there is an influencer that I don't think I really follow. And I guess she applied this and it really did look beautiful, but then she put falsies over it and said that that was the mascara. Which, honey, no. That's the equivalent of making a dating profile and saying you're like six foot two and work out four times a day and then I show up. No, 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 no. But I guess it's a thing to like make a career out of being deceptive so that people try the product. And even though the person who's being deceitful is proven wrong, at least people are reviewing the thing. That is a terrible and awful marketing ploy, but look what we have. Like, it worked, and I hate that it worked. I gotta be real, like, that kind of shit is why I haven't really been in the makeup world lately. But also, I love makeup so damn much, so it's not like I'm ever gonna actually give it up. Because, my friend, scamming has been around forever in every aspect of the universe. And I don't like it. Like, why can't the world just be positive and eat happiness cake? But drama aside, this is supposed to make your lashes, like, up to 60% longer, and and having no lashes, I'm expecting something to happen. And this is not an awful priced product. Like, I think this was under 10 bucks. And I did need a new mascara anyway. Like, all my old ones have become drier than a camel's ass. So hopefully this is good. I just don't understand why a brand wouldn't want to be honest, especially if they're paying people to be dishonest. Or maybe they're not. Maybe it is just the influencers that are being dishonest. But that makes people who do try to be 100% honest look like absolute garbage. Like, I don't like that. Okay, so let's jump into this. I actually do really like the packaging. It's kind of, I don't know, a vibrator shaped dish, but I mean, anything's a vibrator if you try hard enough. It's L'Oreal, so it's not like luxurious feeling, but I kind of like that it's light because you can just pop this into your purse or your bag or your pocket and make it seem like you're just happy to see people. But I did see a brief portion of the video in question, which we will not mention again. I'm just kidding. We'll probably mention it again. But I thought this was like a curved wand, but I don't think this is. I got the right product, right? It smells like Halloween makeup, like pretty much every mascara. Ooh, Ooh, but it's got a very bendy wand. I like that. She's flexible, just like me. Wait, are you like supposed to bend it? Are there directions on this? Why do we need directions for mascara? The directions say it enhances your lashes up to 60%. We already knew that. It has precise lash by lash separation, which I'm assuming kind of gives you the falsy look without having to add falsies. And then the flat side of this brush lengthens lashes. The comb side precisely separates lashes for a magnified look. Why do all the sides look the exact same? What am I missing? I'm sorry, but from the video, it seemed like there were multiple sides to this, but each side is the exact same. If it'll focus, it won't. Okay, hi. They're all the exact same. It's just a little bit bent. But we have two eyes, so we can try this a couple different ways. It doesn't clump, but it still removes easily. It's flake-free and smudge-free, so yay for that. It does sound like a pretty decent mascara. I am gonna wear this all day, but the only thing I'm worried about is it flaking, which it says it's anti-flake, but supposedly so is my shampoo, and it's fucking snowing in here, so... Yeah. But my loves, let's just quick dive in. I'm gonna go in on this eye first. Oh my god, this shit is fucking amazing. Look at that. That is one coat. I love this shit. Like, go out and buy this right the hell now. We have to apply this to the bottom lash. Y'all, why have I not used this until now? This is a miracle worker. I don't know why they're only promoting this as 60% the volume. Like, look at this. Wow, I am just in shock. I'm gooped, gagged, gobsmacked, and everything else the gays say. In fact, this might be too powerful. I can't even see in my peripheral vision. There could be a semi behind me and I wouldn't know. I don't know if this is infused with elf sperm or what, but this is just magnificent. What do we think? Should I go in with a second coat? Yes? No? No wonder everyone loves this. I wonder if I could put this on other things. Hmm. Okay, no, but for real, that's me just being a little bitch. Okay, so let's actually apply this. Oh my god, my eye is gonna be glued shut. Sounds like an average weekend to me, except this time it's with glue. <laughs> let's be serious, and I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. Okay, let's really dive into this, and I do also want to thank everyone for allowing me to keep this channel a place of positivity. The internet, especially over the last few years, has kind of become a haven of hatred. I know we do some sassy shit on here, and I speak like a fucking 
fucking sailor, but everything I do comes out of love. Really, at the end of the day, all I want to be able to do is take you out of whatever problems you may be having for 10 or 15 minutes so you can just escape and hang out. And I'm just so grateful and glad that you all have helped make this not a scandalous place or like a place of judgment. And so a big thank you to all of you. Okay, I'm gonna shut my yap. Let's apply this. Wait, is my camera tilted? Hold on, is that better? Eh, we'll go with it. Okay, beautiful babes, here we go. So we are just gonna apply this. I like to go in with it and then just blink. Ooh, that is really thick. What the fuck am I doing wrong? Oh, fuck, I got it in my eyes. I apply mascara all the time without any issues and then when I go to review one, that's when I jab my eye out. Instantly, it's just really, really clumping up, which makes me think that I'm doing this wrong because it did say that it's supposed to divide each lash individually. I'm using the comey part. Uh, oh, can you see that? It's definitely a very thick formula, but I'm not really noticing any growth with them. Maybe a little bit. I mean, it's not magic. It's not gonna make them grow, but I kind of feel as though this would be better applied with a normal spoolie or applied with this and then going through with a spoolie. Because if you do have a lot of lashes, I could see this working, but I don't have a lot of lashes. They're very kind of thin and sparse and just short. So hold on, give me just a second. I'm gonna grab a spoolie. We have two different tools. This is a lash and brow combo, but I usually just use this for gluing down my eyebrows. And then we have a spool spool. So before this really dries down, which it's already dried down, I'm gonna take this little end that's missing a tooth and I'm gonna try to divide each of my lashes, which I do kind of feel as though most people probably wouldn't put this much effort into their mascara. However, if I'm doing a look that just has mascara and no falsies, I do usually do this. It just helps. Oh, maybe it's not dried down because it is all the hell over that. That definitely did help. So here is one coat. I don't think it's really any different than any other mascara. What do you think? Can you even see it? It made them darker, so yay for that. But it certainly doesn't make it look as though I have falsies on. And I definitely didn't make them look 60% more anything. So let's go in with a second little coat and then I think I'll go over it with my spoolie. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, we're getting spider leg lashes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I do kind of like this thing, but it's also really fucking hard to get in the hole. I can't think of a better analogy, but it is literally like putting a flaccid peony into any tight hole. It's like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna take my little spool spool and we can go through this. Um... Okay, I think I liked my little comb better. Uh, I can kind of see something, at least in my monitor. Let me see how she is on the lower lash. I'll just take her right there. I really do not like this applicator. I think it would be so much better if the bristles were all the way around like a normal fucking applicator because it does kind of want to get clumpy. Usually what I'll do is take the tip and just the tip and go through my lashes and then use the spoolie to kind of wipe the product through. And it's a little bit difficult to do with this thing, but maybe it just takes a little bit of getting used to. Oh gosh, oh. All right, no, okay, fuck me. Oh, I look like a wannabe punk rock star. Yes, well, I've already fucked this up. I'm just gonna go in with my spoolie down here. In fact, I wonder if this would fit in the tube. <gasps> Yes, yeah, she fits. It does seem like a pretty damn good formula, but it just is the brush that I'm not liking. So I'm gonna try it with this. Let's take her right over there. Oh, bitch, that is so much better. It actually is getting to like each individual lash. <gasps> oh, what the fuck, L'Oreal? Why did you screw everyone over with this? Oh. Oh my, hold on, give me just another second. I'm gonna keep going in. Look at the difference between the two sides. Maybe you can't even see, I'll have to zoom in really far. But the side where I used my own spoolie, it just looks like natural lashes. And it actually looks like it increased the size. Well, at least in person. Again, you probably aren't seeing much, but why in the hell didn't they just give us a normal fucking wand? I'm gonna re-dip and we're going in with a second coat. Oh, fuck, I just poked my eye again. Oh, I did it again in like two seconds. Y'all, that is actually really pretty. I think using it with the spoolie that it came with, it does make the lashes seem thicker because it's kind of clumping them together. However, I think it's so much prettier with these, which you can order like a hundred of these for $5. One side just kind of looks like I have a lot of lashes, not necessarily a ton of mascara on, and one side does give the mascara look. So I guess depending on what you're wanting, you can kind of go from there and use the proper tool. And then on 
the lower lash, I'm just going to kind of go in like I always do with a spoolie and I just rub it across kind of like an eyeliner and then go through. Oh fuck, I think I went in with a little bit too much. There we have two coats. I think I'm actually going to go in with a third on this eye. Do people apply three coats of mascara? That does seem a little bit excessive. Like just put on a pair of falsies at that point. Oh God, it does want to kind of get everywhere. So meh. let's do our last little coat right here. I'm actually going to try to wipe away this bottom one because she did fuck it up. And I did the super unhygienic thing and licked my finger and tried to wipe it off and it actually did come off. So it doesn't seem like it's waterproof, which I don't know that it said it was. I think it basically said it's life proof, but not water resistant. Like it's easy to take off. There is three. Oh my goodness. Get your shit together, Nady. Got a big old Sharpie black spot right there. Anywho, here is three coats. I don't really know that you'll be able to see much. However, in person, it really does look beautiful. I totally like the side that I had the spoolie with way more. It just separated each individual lash and it doesn't give me like mascara lashes. It just looks like I have lashes, which I like. If you do have long lashes, I could see you loving this. And if you don't have very many lashes like me, I could also see you really loving it. Just maybe not with the tool that it comes with. So my loves, it is around noon. We're at like midday. So I'm going to wear this until I go to bed tonight. I'm basically looking to see if any falls out right underneath my eyes. In fact, I'm going to put something sticky under there just so it definitely sticks down. I'm going to go in with my Nimia cooling stick and we'll just plop it right down there. I'm not going to blend it in or anything. I suppose I could put some eyelash glue under there. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to. I'm going to go in with this Laura Mercier illuminating eye cream and we are just going to, whoa, we are suddenly metallic down there. I'm hoping this is enough stickiness. I mean, eventually it will sink in, but if it kind of decides to crumble within the next few hours, we'll know because we'll see it. So here we are. I don't really have much to show, but let's take another peeky poo and I will see you in just a second at the end of the day. Hello. Okay. So we are about maybe like three, three and a half hours into this and let's see how we're doing. It doesn't really seem like there's that much that's fallen. I think this clump that you're seeing there is just part of my fuck up. Oh, wait, we do have one little bloopy that's fallen right there. I'm not going to touch it. Oh my gosh, honestly, could I have put a little concealer on? Would it have killed me? But I just wanted to give you kind of a close up look at how these are. This is the side that I use my own spoolie. I think they are beautiful. I do think both sides are pretty, but I probably will never use the one that it came with again. But that's totally a personal preference. If you don't mind how this, oh my God, I'm just poking everything in my eye today. If you don't mind how this side looks, then absolutely go for it. But there's just something about this that I really enjoy. I did also pick a little bit off down here because it was just all sorts of fucked up. So if you see a little bald patch right there, don't worry about it. But yeah, for like a $10 mascara, I think this looks beautiful. Is it the best thing since potato peelers? No, but it's pretty damn good, especially if you use other tools. Should you have to use other tools? Fuck no. But because of the price, I'm okay using other tools. And it's kind of a little bit more sanitary, I guess. But I also put my own spit in my fucking eye a few hours ago. So do I really care about sanitary needs? No. I'm just kidding. I'll probably get a sty there later. But here we go. I think it's doing pretty damn good. What do you think? Yes? No? Maybe? It's about 3.30 right now. So I'm going to keep wearing this for several more hours. I will actually see you at the end of the day. And we are back. It is the end of my day. I'm kind of ready to take this off because I can actually see my lashes. And I haven't gotten used to it. I think it's just because I haven't worn like falsies or real makeup for a long time. And so it's kind of been tripping me out because I'll see something, but it's just a lash. But I haven't looked in the mirror for several hours. So let's see how we're doing. Ooh, okay. So there are a few little stragglers going on right down here. It's not that bad. I'm glad we put copious amounts of eye cream under our eyes because it is still sticky. And that was a great experiment because these little stragglers are stuck the fuck there. See those little babies? It's really not that bad. Like I could probably wipe them away, but I just want you to be able to see it before I do anything. And I will say I did go like this a few times and maybe like that just because there's a lot of fuzzies in my house and it just feels like there's something in there. Even so, this did not smudge at all and really none comes off on my hands unless I like pull. So is this smudge proof? Absolutely. Here, let's try it on this side. Let me just go like this, which I mean, who would really ever do this? But just for shits and giggles, um, okay. There's nothing on my finger. None really fell down. Like this is actually really damn good. I kind of feel like there's so much fallout on this side because of that fucking wand that it came with. It just put on so much product and I think it kind of left some at the ends and it just ended up falling down because this side, there's nothing under there. So formula wise, this gets an absolute A+. Like I absolutely recommend it, but I think I kind of more recommend it with your own tool. I don't love the wand that it comes with and if using your own wand is a bitch and a half, honestly, I'd probably recommend not getting it because it is a good 
good mascara, but you could probably find a similar one. However, if you are open to buying your own pack of spoolies, this is so beautiful. Like, I would be comfortable using this professionally. I would recommend this to my friends. It is really damn beautiful. Let me try to see if I can kind of wipe this away or if it's stuck there. Oh, no. Yeah, we are okay. In fact, on days when I am wearing a lot of makeup and I have, like, hair or something that's fallen down there and I don't want to wipe my eyes, I have this thing, which is not an enema bulb. It's for photography. It's how you clean the inside of the camera. So let me just try going like that and seeing if it comes off. Give me a second. It's been a while since I've been blown in the face. Yeah, that kind of worked splendiferously. It's not like everyone has one of these on hand, but just as long as it didn't smear on my face, which it totally did not, I like this product. I do not get why people did like bullfuckery fakeness with this. It did not need it. But it got a lot of people to buy it, which I don't know how I feel about that. Bad marketing ploy. I think the last test that I want to do is take a makeup eraser on this. And I want to see how simple it is to remove because they did say it was supposed to be pretty easy. Well, of course, all of my makeup erasers are in the laundry. So I have a makeup removing wipe. Don't love these because they are kind of terrible for the environment and your skin, but it's all we have. So it's for scientific purposes. Let's Let's try this eye. We'll just gently give it a wipe and hopefully it doesn't burn my eyeball. Oh, that is, wow. That has to be the easiest mascara removal I have ever seen. I am just barely touching my eyelid. A lot of times I have to go in with oil and that just fucks up my eye. But this is coming off so immaculately. This is so fucking gentle. I don't have to pull at my eyelashes to strip the product off of them. I'm just going like that and boom. Wow. How the hell did they get this product to stick for so long but have it removed so easily? You get it L'Oreal but also don't get it with your shady marketing shit. I definitely understand understand why so many people have loved this product. Like, this is the balls. Whether you have sensitive eyes, whether you have very few or fine lashes, or whether you have big ass lashes, this is the shit. Oh, I think I'm gonna call my grandma and tell her to get this. Okay, my love. So, there we go. Well, color me impressed. I think this is well worth the money. I think it's worth any positive hype that it gets. Run out and grab it if you're looking for a new mascara. I really think you'd like it. Which, normally, I could just give fewer shits about a mascara, but I actually really like this. So who to thunk? Oh, I forgot. I am also doing a giveaway of my latest Repop collection. You get all the glosses and a lip oil. If you want to enter, the link is down below. Make sure you're at least 18 or older or have your parents' consent. Good luck to everyone. Anyways, you little divine divas, what is on my nose? Thank you so much for being here. I love having you. And you know what? If you want a little bit more me in your life, head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplux. You get videos a day early. You get Patreon-only content. And best part, it is cheap, fun, and fancy just like me. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Official Nady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!